Welcome to RK Tutorial Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.1, problem number 3.3. .3. Two gears having pitch diameters D1 is equal to 150 mm, D2 is equal to 200 mm are connected by an idling gear as shown in the figure. If a couple of moment M1 is applied to the upper gear as shown, what is the moment M2 of the couple that must be applied to the lower gear to maintain the equilibrium? That means there is a moment M1 is applied to this gear 1. Hence it starts rotates. This rotation will be transmitted to the idler and because of this idler rotation it will be transmitted to the gear 2. But our interest is to find how much moment M2 I need to apply to maintain the equilibrium. That means with what, how much moment it is available at gear 2 it is required because of this M1. This gear, this gear is known as idler gear. The purpose of the idler gear is only to take the moment from gear 1 and transmit the moment to gear 2. Now, there is a moment M1 acting at gear 1. So, this M1 I can replace with two forces acting at the surfaces with a, uh, with, with a distance, perpendicular distance of D1. Now, the idler is connected to gear 1 and this P is also acting on the idler gear. To satisfy the equilibrium, this gear will also be subjected to a force P in this direction to maintain the equilibrium. Now this force P is also acting on the gear 2 and to maintain the equilibrium in another force must be there so that this will rotate in this direction. That, so the couple M1 can be replaced with the two forces at gear 1 as I mentioned those two forces let us say P and P. So this M1 is equal to the couple produced by these two forces. The couple produced by these two forces is equal to force into the perpendicular distance D1. So M, M1 is equal to P into D1 and P is equal to M1 by M1 by 150 because D1 value is given as 150. D1. <coughs> So P value M1 by 150. The same M1 by 150 is also available here idler and the same M1 by 150 is also available at gear 2 and the same M1 by 150 is available here. Now as far as gear 2 is concerned the two forces are one is M1 by 150 and M1 by 150 these two are acting on gear 2 with a perpendicular distance of D2. The same force P also acts on idler gear, idler gear 2, idler gear. <coughs> Hence, the moment acting at or the couple acting at gear 2, M2 is equal to P into D2 and I know P is equal to M1 by 150 into D2 value is given as 200. Hence, M2 is equal to 1.33 M1. So, here, I have a value of M2 which is equal to 1.33 M1 but our interest is to find the equilibrium that means the gear must satisfy under stationary condition. Now the gear is rotating with a couple of M2. So to satisfy equilibrium we need to apply a moment M2 in the opposite direction. This is the moment M2 dash we need to apply M2 dash that must be equal to minus 1.33 M1 we need to apply to maintain the equilibrium. Why I am saying it is minus because this M2 dash is opposite to M2. Hence these two moments are equal and opposite hence the body will satisfy the equilibrium condition. Hence, the answer for this given problem M2 dash is equal to minus 1.33 M1.